Oh my goodness, it is, isn't it? I just saw it peeping down the edge. Where do you get your ideas from for writing books? Some of the ideas come from, it's almost as if I've got a film in my head and when I daydream I make the film run and then I think about the film that's in my head. But other times it comes from listening and looking and thinking about that. What was your favourite book you have written and why? Mm, that's quite difficult. I wrote a book of stories that are from a German folk story. So the man's name is Till Eulenspiegel in German, and then I called him Till Owley Glass in English. And he's a tricky guy who plays tricks on people. And I'm quite fond of that. It reminds me of when I was a boy, and I used to love those stories then. And so it's called, I think, The Wicked Tricks of Till Owley Glass. And I think that's my, actually my favorite book. Do you have a top tip for getting kids to read more? Oh. <laughs> that's very difficult. I think maybe the thing about reading is talking to each other about the books. So if ever you see somebody reading and you say, what are you reading? Is it any good? And then that's the best way to spread the ideas. Do you have a top tip to get kids to write in more? Writing. I think the best way to learn how to write or to enjoy writing is when you're reading something to sort of switch off and say, I could write something like that. You see, you just say that to yourself. So if you're reading, what should we say? Let's, let's go back to Matilda. And you say you're reading Matilda and you, you think about, say, Miss Honey and having a nice teacher. And then you can have a little dream and you think, well, what would the best teacher in the world be? And then you might say, well, instead of it being a, like in a real school, maybe it's, I don't know, a squirrel school or a Martian school. So you start playing with it. That's called playing with ideas. And so you've suddenly got a Martian school, the best teacher in the world. And then Roald has got the worst teacher in the world. So what would the worst teacher in the world be for a Martian? Maybe that would be a teacher that comes from Jupiter. So suddenly we've got a bad teacher from Jupiter and a lovely teacher from another planet. And we've got Martians. And you, really, you've sort of stolen it from Roald Dahl, but it's new. If you could write about any animal, what would it be and why? What animal would it be? What animals do I like? Well, I'm a bit amazed. Now, don't don't start getting um, shocked. But you know, you know, have you ever heard of a cockroach? Yeah. Well, they're not really very nice cockroaches. But there's one thing that's amazing about them, is that they seem to be able to survive anything and everything. So I think I quite like the idea that maybe there's a cockroach wandering around. Maybe it's here, and it's like a hundred million years old. Oh my goodness, it is, isn't it? I just saw it peeping down the edge. It's been, it's been wandering around Scotland for a hundred million years. It was under the ice cap and it went, oh, no problems. And it's still alive. I quite like the idea of writing about that cockroach. Maybe I will one day. The hundred million year old cockroach. <laughs>